Hello traders, FS Pipcletta here. Today is Friday, March 10th, and I'm going to be analyzing the DXY and the US dollar index, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. And today is non-farm payroll day, so hopefully that will cause some good trades in the market. But on the DXY monthly, we have a nice and positive move down. I think it's a wave A. I think the wave A is over, and we're now going up to make a wave B, and eventually back down to make that wave C. I still think this is all going to be a crutch into this whole move up, and eventually it's going to end up continuing the uptrend. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can actually start to see the lower lows, lower highs, the whole way down for the wave A. I think this move up right here is an A of B. It's probably going to go down, make a crutch into that move up for the B, and then eventually back up for the C. I think this is going to be an A, B, C of wave B, probably going to the 61 or the 50% before it actually ends up going back down to make that wave C. Just like that A, B, C pattern I was sewing on the monthly time frame. So taking it down to the daily is where I switch back to the US dollar index. On the daily, you can see a nice impulsive up wave one, corrective down wave two, wave three impulsive up, corrective down wave four, and wave five. Now, it hasn't really taken out any structure. It really hasn't given us any reason as of yet to prove that the wave A is over. We do have a big news event coming out today, so I think the most likely thing to happen is that the dollar is going to go down and start this A, B, C, or B before it actually goes up and makes that wave C of wave B. So let's take a look at that on the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, we have a nice and positive move down. It has not taken out any structure yet to prove that this big wave A is complete. But if this actually spends the rest of the day correcting until the news comes out, that gives me a really good confidence that the dollar is going to actually go down and this is going to be like a one, two, three, four, five of wave A, which is part of that A, B, C of B, which is a wave B, should be a crescent to the whole move up. So let's head down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, I think what this is going to end up being like a wave one, probably in here somewhere, probably a one, two, three, four, five of one. And then this is going to kind of correct until the news comes out. And then it's going to finish a wave two at the news and go down and make a three, four, and five of wave A. Which this wave A is the wave A of wave B with a, like what I was showing on the daily time frame. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the de description. Thanks and happy trading.